Hello everybody, my name is Lizix, and today I'm going to be showing you how to run custom songs in Rock Band 4 in the Ashad PS4 emulator. This is a long process, and to skip a couple steps, you're going to need to do everything that you would need to do for a normal PS4 custom, which I've already done here. If you need to watch the video, that video it will be linked in the description. First thing you're going to want to do here is open up PS4 package viewer or anything that can extract a PS4 package file. I'm going to use PS4 package viewer as I said. Load this in, extra, extract package, I'm just leave it in the same spot, that's fine. Close out of that. And uh, you've got the song files here, this is all the important stuff you're going to need. Um, I'm just going to be going over replacing uh, these three files which will not replace the song name, but this is all you need to get a song working properly in Rock Band 4, in Chad PS4. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is extract your Rock Band 4 ARC files. This uses um, ARC Helper as part of Maclaha. I'll have that linked in the description. You can also do this with um, latest Rock Band 4, which we did get working, Rock Band 4 Rivals version 2.21. To extract Rock Band 4 Rivals, you're going to want to rename these patch main files and just rename them to main and then increment the number by one. So this would be main PS4 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. And then you just, to extract the files, I'm not going to actually do it, but I will show you how to. So go to here, type uh, open a command prompt where you downloaded Maclaha, type arc helper, arc to dir, and then drag in the main ps4.hdr, and then you, you can then either drag a folder where you want to extract it to, or you can just drag the main ps4.hdr in again and the delete the .hdr, and that will just create a folder called main PS4, and then type dash A, and then press enter, it will extract all the stuff. I'm not gonna be doing that, I already have the game extracted. Um, next thing you're gonna wanna do is convert this mog.dta using DTX tool. So type in DTX tool, DTA to B, space, drag in the mog.dta, it doesn't really matter what you call the output file, it just has to be something different. I'll be calling it DTB. Um, and then put the number 3 at the end. Press enter, then you have your converted file. So next thing you're going to want to do is go into your uh, extracted arcs and go into this songs folder. You can also go into the songs rivals folder if you're on rivals. Since this is 1.08, there is no songs rivals. And just go ahead and pick any song that you want to replace. There is some limitations, so if you go into these, you can see these sizes on the right, so the MOG and the MOG uh, DTA, DTA, PS4, and the RB mid. These have, this side, the original files, need to be bigger than your converted files. And as you can see, these are much bigger than the converted files. Not the RB song, the RB mid. So once you have your song of choice that you want to replace, then you're going to have to find the song in the original ARC files. This is a little bit tricky, and it can be in multiple places, like the MOG and the MOG DTA and the RB mid. They may be in different ARC parts. So what I do is I use uh, a program called Grepwin and uh, a hex editor. I use HXD. I drag in all of the original assets. I find a nice long string of text that I can use. Like, um, there, that's good. Copy that. Any long string of text from these that, that you can like actually highlight. And then can paste in a grep one. This is going to the right spot. Yep, it's gonna search for the arcs. Uh, make sure to check include binary files and search. This may take a while, to, uh, depending on your hardware. This is probably going to take a while for me as well since I'm recording, so I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. Alright, so it has found 
the MOG file. It is in main ps 417arc Go ahead and drag this in. So my hex editor actually makes backups automatically, so I don't have to worry about that. And then to find the MOG file, uh, what I do is I go to the top, drag a couple of the hex bytes, find, paste. Luckily, it's right here at the top. So, next thing you're going to want to do, take the new MOG file, drag it in, select all, copy, go over, and then what you're going to want to do so the game will actually boot and not crash, keep an eye on this length. So I've got 30B9DF, go here, make that the length of your selection, 30B9DF. Now you can see the length is the same. Copy the bytes, paste it into the arc, that's done. Next, the MOG DTA PS4, same thing, copy a couple of bytes, find, and uh, as you can see, there's also this, which is unimportant. What you're going to want to do is then take the MOG DTB, or whatever you called it, the converted MOG file, copy it, uh, again, put in the length, 109, as you can see, it's the same, paste, so now that is the MOG and uh, MOG DTA done, now the RB mid. You're probably going to want to drag a little bit more as the RB mid can be hard to find. There may be duplicates, but luckily there seems to be just one. So once you found your RB mid, and again you might have to, instead of if they're not in the same arc, I got lucky here. If they're not in the same arc, you're going to have to go into Grepwin or Grep and do the exact same thing. Find a part of the MIDI and like copy it, paste it in here, search, find which arc it's in, and then you can replace it. Um, I'll take this. Whoops, copy the wrong side. FA3D. FA3D. Okay, paste, save, and you're good to go. Your song will now, should be ready to play. Just for testing purposes, I'm going to go ahead and open it up here. And so, just so you can see, I ain't messing around. So, as you can see, the audio has changed. Um, and the MIDI should have changed as well, so the gameplay should be different. But uh, the song data, I did not adjust, which you can do if you want to. It's a little bit, it's a lot more difficult to do that. But uh, I just wanted to show you something quick and easy. So there you have it, that is how you install custom songs to Rock Band 4 for use in Shad PS4, the PS4 emulator. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and of course, if you don't want to do all this mess, Shad will eventually support DLC. Just give it time. Thanks for watching, I'll see you around, peace.